Hi, everybody. Uh, today, I wanted to uh, study the real estate of Brazil, and I was realizing to myself that I'm a little bit afraid to study the real estate of Brazil. Uh, and uh, one of the reasons is just uh, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in Brazil, and I'm not sure how many people really need to know about it. Um, so, and, and also, I, I, I'm kind of uh, passionate about... Uh, high density housing and cool housing at the same time. So I really think that the Amazon is just totally out of question here, but we're going to primarily focus on Rio de Janeiro area and kind of uh, Sao Paulo, basically down in here. So there's a lot of interesting places in Latin America to look at real estate. Um, I took a course on it. I dropped out. I, I think it's just so I, I got an A on my test and all that, but uh, I uh, I just decided that I need to do something else, uh, focus on something a little foreign, a little bit more uh, interesting and not so, uh, I guess, greedy, you'd say. So I think the buying and selling of houses is kind of a mess. Um, people involved with that, it should just be minimal. Uh, I think it should primarily be focused on construction. So I'm interested. Um, trying to get involved in construction of cool and interesting houses. Probably on the sales side, I, I don't want to go through all the uh, uh, licensing process, so I want to just do what's legal, but maybe just get involved in sales for someone else's company <clears throat> um, and uh, kind of work up from there uh, when it's needed. So, uh, But there's a lot of places in Latin America. Um, I flew down to uh, Florida here and... Uh, was trying to figure things out uh, with a friend of mine uh, as kind of a spot to uh, get into Latin America um, just for cheap flights because it's a little expensive to do it all in one day and nor do I want to fly all in one day all the way down to uh, Brazil. So there's a number of cool spots. Um, you know, I, I like mountains and uh, beaches and not super hot weather. So along the equator, one of the problems is it's just really too hot here along the equator. So the equator basically runs right through here. Um, and the uh, problem with that is that a lot of the housing moves up into the mountains, even in Colombia. Um, and you'll see some of the biggest cities in Colombia actually up, not even on the water, um, because the temperature is so hot. Um, so as you get further farther south, um, which really this is even not that far south, um, is Rio de Janeiro. So we're not going to look at all of Brazil. There's there's certainly a lot of really major cities up in here like uh, Recife and, and so on that would be interesting. But the reason I'm not checking them out is I was really interested in um, trying to see uh, essentially some cities that have some mountains and just cool places. Another really interesting area that would be cool to check out uh, that I'd like to check out in the future is kind of a chilly um, and kind of all these uh, coastal regions uh, for just uh, cool housing. Um, but uh, for now, I have a friend in Brazil and, and in Rio. So this little bay right here is Rio de Janeiro. And these mountains kind of run up along in here. And uh, you can kind of see this big city here, Sao Paulo. I'm going to turn off all these places. Otherwise, it's going to get pretty. Maybe just airports will leave that on. Uh, so... Uh, but basically, uh, Sao Paulo here and Rio. So Rio, uh, if you're not familiar with Brazil, used to be the capital. Um, and in fact, even Portugal moved their capital to Rio de Janeiro. And then later in the game here, they kind of moved it out to Brasilia. So it's kind of a shame uh, that they moved the capital way out here. I, I, I think in some ways that's good because, uh, well... Um, all the politicians have to leave town. So uh, Sao Paulo is interesting too. It's just a really ginormous city. I'm not going to really talk too much about it, uh, but we're going to look into uh, real estate here. <laughs> so let me put this on pause for a second. Uh, so believe it or not, when you start to uh, look into Rio and uh, what's going on here, you can do a search for Rio de Janeiro Architects and it's called iMobiles, but uh, if you type in real estate, you can do a search for this on the map as well, and it will kind of show you uh, what's going on. So, you know, this is not conclusive at all, right? So, and I'm not even sure how they come up with these numbers, and it kind of shifts depending on 
where you look. So I'm familiar with Rio and there's things that I'm interested in and things that I'm not. So uh, I'm kind of priced out of a lot of things. So, uh, and uh, I, I am interested in kind of like the alternative markets um, of what's going on here and uh, things like that. So, uh, but this gives you a basic idea of some of these companies. Um, uh, so to be quite honest, I'm not that familiar with what's going on uh, with real estate in Brazil. That's why I'm working on this. And I uh, went to the Wikipedia page and kind of looked up and tried to track it down. What is the largest uh, essentially real estate companies in Brazil? So of those, uh, this page came up. So this is not the largest, but these are the six large ones. So uh, the largest turns out to be this company, MRV. And then there's this... Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, I don't know, these, they, they have different notions of the largest. So it might be actually these guys instead of MRV. So uh, based on their uh, websites and even Wikipedia pages, you can kind of tell that uh, um, some pages are definitely worked on more than others. So <clears throat> these guys go back to 1980s and these guys 1979 or so. So, uh, so between these, uh, we're probably going to figure out <clears throat> what we need to figure out. So... Um, and I think uh, some of these numbers might be a little bit off. Um, this says revenue of almost a trillion dollars, and I'm sure that's probably wrong. So uh, I, when you consider this is just uh, 1.3 billion in revenue. So, uh, so you know, there are bugs on these pages. Um, so uh, how we go about this is kind of the trick. Uh, so going back to uh, the... Uh, display here um essentially what i'm interested in i i'm actually not gonna say what i'm personally interested in because i'm kind of afraid uh people might all dive in and say hey let's try to get uh some land there but uh <clears throat> but essentially um rio de janeiro area so uh what i noticed is that there's this whole kind of like mountainous region this is fairly flat i kind of like along the beach here and a lot of people have moved into Florinopolis area and it basically stretches from Florinopolis all the way to Rio and then even off into this tip and then it kind of gets flat again and then even more and more hot as you head up the coast towards the equator here so um, there isn't a whole lot of mountains in Brazil and in fact there's no snow whatsoever um, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think maybe there might be some mountain tip somewhere that gets a little snow. Maybe this guy right here. But uh, but in general, uh, what we're looking for is is the real estate in this region. So <clears throat> um, I just want to start by Rio. I'm actually not particularly even fully interested in Rio per se, just because it seems overcrowded and maybe even overpriced. Um, but we're going to compare, I'm just starting with Rio to kind of compare it with the other regions of Brazil. So you can kind of see there is a lot of little foothills here. It's kind of maybe a little bit hard to see, but, um, but if, if you zoom in here, you can kind of see, um, start to see some of the mountains and uh, some of the beauty of some of the landscape here in Rio. <laughs> uh, so luckily I found this map here, <clears throat> kind of looking at the global picture. I don't really like it too much because it's indexed just by 100%, so it shows change in price, not really actual price. So I got another map here that I'll show you in a second. So kind of compare that uh, to this. So in general, uh, you can kind of see where the prices are here. So, and this is from 2011 right here, and this was just, um, uh, you know, this is a research gate, uh, research paper that I found. So, uh, so basically, uh, you see around twenty two thousand dollars per hectare, and uh, you know that basically isn't even Rio de Janeiro. So the south southern part, and honestly, I'm not quite sure why that is. It's probably because of temperature, just hotter, and maybe climate related, and. Uh, you know, a number of reasons. So even here in RJ, you can see the maximum, minimum, and uh, so on. So I don't know if that's totally gonna help us a lot, 
yet. So going back to this, uh, you can see um, overall that Columbia, the prices have gone up by, uh, you know, almost doubled, right? And even in Mexico, the prices have gone up a lot. Brazil is kind of uh, on track with America, the prices. And you can see India here, the prices being skyrocketing the most in the world. So, uh, and then even, well, I guess it's Turkey. So a lot of that may be uh, from refugees and uh, who knows what else. And you can even see this little uh, blip here for Estonia. So uh, Brazil, uh, kind of to put that into perspective, is, is this map. Uh, so this is kind of an important uh, diagram, basically showing that, uh, you know, property prices were fairly stable until about uh, 2002. And then around 2006 and eight, the prices, uh, so if, if it was, uh, you know, 35, it went up to, you know, almost... 157 so you know that's five times difference um just in property prices so that's kind of a big change um to say the least uh so one of the funny things is testing out uh, some of these new websites i've never tried out in foreign countries so i don't know how accurate this is but uh you can kind of see some of these prices kind of approaching hostile prices. So you can see thirty-one dollars here, um, fifty, almost three hundred dollars, and this is per night. So this is like rentals, right? So um, to kind of give you some idea. So my personal experience has been, um, you know, that this these numbers are fairly accurate in terms of relative prices perhaps so when it comes to this area uh like leblon and copacabana and as you get kind of like right on the edge of the centro the downtown area is kind of over here um the prices drop and then suddenly rise again right um this is perhaps up in santa Teresa or something so and then you can kind of see some cheaper prices back in here and then maybe even some higher end prices as you go down the coast so uh, this searches a number of different websites, so it, uh, you know I, I'm not sure. Um, I mean, it even looks like this looks like a pretty sweet little spot. So some of these look great. Some of them just look like regular rooms. So again, it's a hundred dollars a night for a room like this. Um, but uh, location is almost everything. Um, so you know you kind of got to first look at the location. So personally. Um, I'm not super interested in, um, I mean, I might be interested maybe in right downtown. Um, so if I needed a place to try to find a job in Rio or work there or something like that, um, that might be interesting. Um, or just being close to downtown would be nice. But then also there's Niteroi here, which is far cheaper and also pretty nice. So um, it's just interesting to see these prices as they kind of change here. Um, but uh, give you that idea. Uh, so just as kind of a quick comparison, um, just do a search for Silicon Valley rents. Um, you know, this is uh, San Francisco Bay Area. And if you take uh, 2100, which is basically about the average here, and divide that by 31, so you just take uh, 2100 divided by 31, and you get about $67 a night. So even in rio on this page so we're seeing you know twenty dollars thirty dollars seventy dollars you know so on the upper side uh if you're looking at 75 dollars or so down to you know it, it could be a third of what it is in silicon valley it could be uh maybe even more expensive than silicon valley so depending on the spot um, and so on. And I would say, uh, obviously, any of these spots along the beach here would be way nicer than living in San Jose. Uh, but uh, it is an important comparison uh, just to kind of see uh, for rental prices uh, just to get started. And just as a side point, if you do apartment rental Rio de Janeiro, uh, really nothing comes up very good. That was the first link here. Um, and I'm not too happy with it. So maybe there's even an opportunity to make... Uh, 
make some money building uh, some uh, kind of project or even working with these guys. It's better not to compete, but sometimes it's better just to help out and work together. So, but uh, really nothing on trying to search for uh, apartments or even housing, at least in English. I'm sure there's probably some websites, uh, I would hope, in Portuguese. Uh, so I may just end up trying to uh, call some of these uh, ones that I'm familiar with. So I, really what I'm looking for is a cool, interesting uh, company to work with. So there are some cool, really cool spots along this lake here. So maybe these guys might be all right. Um, this is really close uh, kind of to this cool area. Uh, they might be pretty interesting. This might be great for low budget apartments, maybe close to uh, downtown. And then you got all these kind of... Uh, not so sure, but right downtown kind of spots. Um, maybe if you're uh, working uh, right downtown, you might want to talk with some of those guys. So um, <clears throat> these guys may actually have uh, more information uh, than I do. So, uh, but uh, going back to the uh, map here, um, you know, essentially what we're talking about, and for some reason the whole map is skewed sideways. Not sure why, um, but. Uh, but you know, essentially, this this area of Rio, these are all the Wikipedia spots and entries. So, you know, you, you basically saw this this kind of nice little peak here, and uh, we can even zoom in closer. It's trying to load up all these buildings. Um, but this is the lake here, and there's just a whole area. So, I just kind of wanted to see, you know, what was going on. And this this is a kind of a trek. There's a, a bridge that heads across the water here. Uh, maybe even that's the bridge there. So. Um, and a bus that you can take uh, over to Niteroi. So it is a whole different city, kind of quieter and different than uh, Rio. But um, I would say, um, you know, just looking at this, I'm really interested as you get further, further kind of uh, south here, um, uh, kind of uh, uh, a little bit outside of Rio. So the question is, uh, you know, obviously, um, you're having difficulty working downtown if you're this far away uh, from downtown, but there's certainly some other areas. So I wanted to kind of check these out. Saw this little golf course over here and some other things. Um, but uh, so I'm not super interested in these beaches. It kind of, I did live for a little while over here in Flamingo, um, just really close to downtown here. I can't even remember exactly where, but uh, it was kind of boring, honestly. It was just a uh, big high rise square room square housing kind of boring um and i imagine a lot of copacabana essentially gets into that um kind of lifestyle so it is nice to you know even these favelas or whatever could actually be even nicer than living right downtown uh, in my opinion but uh uh but anyway so uh basically you have some uh, uh other areas um I've actually visited uh, this area over here too. Actually, now that I look at this, can't believe I've been to some of these places. But, uh, but in general, uh, there's some cool little rock features along here. It is really nice if you can find something really close into these rock areas. So I would say anything along there would be super awesome. So there's really exclusive spots in here. Um, and uh, I'm also looking for a place to dock a boat, possibly just share a boat with a bunch of other Brazilians or friends or something. Uh, hopefully get that as cheap as possible. But uh, but basically you can kind of see, and then it kind of gets into mass suburbia way out here in Rio. And this would just be disastrous. I think I, I'm really s feel bad for all these people back here in suburbia. Um, might even be pollution problems back in there. But uh but certainly that's becoming a big fact in uh, Brazil, almost like Sao Paulo. So, I mean, uh, certainly this might even be uh, better or worse than Sao Paulo in certain areas. So, um, but uh, I'm going to just conclude with that. Um, you know, there's just a lot of information, so I'm not sure how we're going to just zoom out here. Let's take a look at everything. So, not sure why this... Uh, Earth didn't quite uh, zoom in the right way, but but essentially that's that's the area. Um, I uh, took a bus all the way down here, Montevideo. I would say Montevideo is really freaking cool. Um, just Buenos Aires broke down, and I don't know what happened, but uh, it's it's a big flat land. It gets very flat as you get down here, but Montevideo for some reason is just cool. So uh, it doesn't really have the hills that this other areas does, but. 
Uh, and it's kind of bad. Like you get to places down here like Porto Alegre. It doesn't show up. There it is. So, uh, and you can kind of see some other airports here. Um, easy to get in and out of. So Sao Paulo being pretty huge, but even Fornopolis, from what I understand, is pretty cool too. I met a couple programmers um, from that area. They seem like cool guys. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to understand maybe why they would like to uh, live down here just because it's just Rio with that mass suburbia. You can see that could be a little bit stressful on some people. So, and but basically this whole coastline is basically where I was considering just wanted to find some cool spot um, so uh, but uh, but basically the problem is that uh, you know I mean there's these little spots in here farmland and whatnot so uh, I'm certainly interested in farming as well but uh, you know as you get closer and closer to Amazon I, I worry about uh, taken away from the Amazon here, but certainly this looks like a lot of land heading out towards. Uh, um, and I did make it to Asuncion, Paraguay, which is really kind of scary. And it's really funny when you sit in Asuncion, you look up this river, and it's just something seems it's this marshy grass that you see, and it's just it's really mysterious uh, town. Um, but uh, that all ends up out in Buenos Aires, but uh, housing market, I think, in Buenos Aires would be very different uh, than uh, this area of Brazil. So it's just not even comparable because a lot more suburban kind of lifestyle down there in Buenos Aires. So this, because of the mountain ranges, um, it just is a little, it's not even really serious. It's, it's pretty big mountains, a couple thousand feet, I would say, at most, um, but uh you can kind of get some of the ideas. So uh, some friends have told me about some places as well, and I just wanted to kind of look at it. Um, but uh, let me just review the last couple of things before I close out here. Uh, so for some reason, I just feel like showing this website because I thought it was they have cool designs. I'm um, basically, I really like cool designed houses. I met this guy the other day, and he was really funny living in my town, and he uh, converted his uh, house just over like, many many years probably 50 years and just kept making it cooler and cooler and i really like these kind of like build outs kind of thing so these weird houses this so you can see on some of these prices so you divide by five essentially to get the dollar or this is actually dollars so it says uh reels and actually it's kind of interesting that it's not quite by five there so uh but anyway you can see basically the u.s dollar price and so on so uh, a little bit uh, scary prices price range here but just cool to see some of the designs um by uh, some of these some of these brazilian uh, people and this is like the real estate companies in brazil this is kind of how i got started and i basically just opened up all of the links and took a look at all of them um so it would be interesting maybe to follow up with uh, some more details about each of these but i just don't have time right now uh, so I thought it'd be funny just to show you me trying to navigate uh, and so this is this MRV guys and I, I do not know if I should trust them or what but uh, but they have a website here you can search and I think they even had an English version but uh, I'm not trying the English version for some reason and you can select the state so I just selected uh, a Rio de Janeiro and then you can pick kind of the neighborhood here um, even out into Niteroi and so on so I did Cidade so I imagine that's uh, downtown for city uh, and uh, and then maybe they even got some other things here so funny they don't really list the prices uh, right off the top here but um, and these look all like uh, development projects so I'm not even sure if these are it looks like a virtual image on every single case so kind of scary thought but uh, interesting just to see um, so I, I would say I, I don't know I, I like to see some real pictures but um anyway okay so another fun thing is just trying out this so they got these uh, art studios rio de janeiro and so on um might as well just check out their art studios just really quick because i can read that and uh um can i modify so some kind of uh bug here already but uh so clearly uh apartment life in rio is not exactly settled yet in terms of uh 
being able to search for things. So it may be that actually the real estate agents may be your best bet. Uh, this just doesn't seem, I don't know. It seems pretty professional, I guess, in some ways, but um, I don't know. Uh, uh, but yeah, so at least we got some pictures here. So, uh, but, uh, uh, but anyway, so these are some spots. Uh, so yeah, so here I am on this uh, other website, and uh, funny thing is, I, I click on that search, and it's just kind of funny because it's like all really uh, like San Paula, San Paula, San Paula. So not even have a picture. It's so I guess luxurious. All right, so here's the last one. So this looks like just apartment complex mania, and uh, click on Rio de Janeiro and uh, presto, you got to Rio. So um just a different kind of thing so it looks like they got a couple different buildings here but uh kind of on the edge so these guys maybe are uh kind of looking at the uh, uh mid, mid, middle class kind of uh, rio areas so because you can see out here um being uh, further into suburbia so and again, here uh, being another spot. So be interesting to find out exactly what these guys are doing. Uh, they look like they uh, are doing okay. But uh, but again, um, there's a big gap here between the luxury ones and the others. So uh, so just to conclude, uh, that's the world here for uh, Brazil. And um, there's certainly a lot of places to look at. Um, a lot of cool cities, beach towns. If you want, uh, there may be even cooler. I, I think as you get closer up to the Amazon, if you're really interested in jungle life, um, there's some cool stuff up there. Um, it's just, I wanted something with the mountains and I've been studying Antarctica and I wanted to be kind of closer to the south here. Just not as hot and some other things like that. Hope you liked everything I was discussing. Uh, I'd be glad to discuss some things with you, work with you on something. Let me know what's going on. See you.